Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another ServiceNow Express video forum blog post on the concept of administrating home pages. So as you come into ServiceNow, regardless if you're an end user or a technician or an admin, you'll notice that you're greeted with some sort of a home page in the platform. End users, they come into the platform and they're going to be greeted with the self-service portal. Now they can't change what home page they see. They can only change the rate of refresh and they can't move anything around either. So it's very static per what you set up as the admin. Now technicians, they get a bit more of flexibility in that when they come into the platform, their ITIL homepage, they can still move that content around to create a personal homepage as well as to click this switch to page in the upper right to switch to a different page. So for example, this user will click and drag to move around the location. And it's important to note that when you take a standardized home page as either a technician or an admin and you do not edit it coming in through the sysadmin home page, this will create a copy. So you'll notice I drag and drop that change. It duplicated that ITIL home page and created my ITIL home page. So just be aware that as an admin, when you want to try to make changes to home pages and the content that your end users see in self-service, your technicians see in the ITIL homepage, you're going to need to change that by coming in to the sysadmin homepage. Now overview homepages are basically the out-of-box homepages from modules. Those can simply be configured by navigating to them and moving things around as an admin. Otherwise, as we'll have seen here, the system will create a duplicate of that home page for that user. And that's great because then each of your technicians can make personalized home pages per the content that's relevant to them. But what about those cases where you do want to change you know, what's standardized out there? So to do that, you just come in as the system administrator, navigate over to your system administration home page, and then find in the lower left here, home page content, and it's from these three links that you'll be able to change these singular and standardized home pages that your users see. For example, I'm going to press edit the ITIL home page and you'll notice this time, you know, let me take this report out. It's not giving me any data and I'll press close. Let me also add an additional report, maybe in terms of computers that are out there. So I'm going to click gauges, computer, and throw that right there, computers by RAM, at the bottom of my home page. So this configuration here that we did, now I can add and edit where it's located with click and drag, but it's not creating a My Personalized Duplicate. It's actually editing the global ITIL homepage your technicians see. So making changes to home pages is simply done by pressing this plus sign in the upper left. Here we can add a number of out-of-box gadgets like tickers for priority incidents, priority one problems, a news ticker, which is just knowledge articles of the type news, areas like knowledge searches, or maybe a queue of emergency changes, the actual knowledge base sections, you can throw those on a home page as well, and any service catalog category you create, we can go ahead and put on a home page. So we'll see that when we edit our service catalog utilizing this functionality. Keep in mind that every report you make in ServiceNow can be turned into a gauge, which can then be added to a home page as well. So we could also add live feed onto these home pages, but in our case, maybe we want something specific for the end users. For their self-service portal, we created a new category, and now we want to add it on there we can come to the system administration homepage, we'll edit the homepage content, and we'll press edit self-service homepage. And this lets us click and drag, move around these different sections, and add new categories that we may have created, or that we may have here in the system. So I'll add this one to the lower left, and I'll add this list of desktops to the lower right. And just like that, my self-service portal now we'll include these two sections. And keep in mind that these different categories, the different reports you put on these home pages, they can still have security controls, 
when you go to on the, either the categories, you press edit, and you assign those roles, or when it comes to a report, being able to also go into the system. Now something that's important to note is if that category you add has zero child elements, meaning if that category does not have at least one item or one subcategory that has an item, it will not show up. So make sure there's at least something in that category you add. Now if you change the pictures, another trick to note is you could go to slash cache.do and this is going to actually refresh your system cache. So for the home pages, it'll go ahead and any images, it'll immediately reload based off of the freshest ones that you've defined. So we mentioned earlier, you know, the concept of reporting, adding reports to home pages. In our self-service piece, we just added those different sections to self-service. But what about check status? You know, a lot of times you want to edit, you want to change around what the sections here are for users to view. Maybe you want to add new sections. An example is maybe what CIs, you know, what assets are assigned to me. Well, if it's a simple list that you want to go ahead and put on the check status section, you can just simply press the pencil next to my open incidents. And this is going to take us into that my open incidents gauge. And what we're going to do is we're going to right click, select insert and stay, which will make a duplicate. And now we're just going to edit it per what we want. So not my open instance, we're going to say my assets, it's a list, pulling from the configuration item table, let's do name, filter, query, you know, this is this asset, the assigned to has to be is dynamic me. Make sure the title is also my assets. But now I've simply defined a new item I can put in check status. So again, I come to my system administration homepage, go to homepage content, edit the self-service check status homepage, press plus, and just like that I can find that new gauge I created. Again, it's based off of table. So my configuration item table, I'm gonna click that and there is the my assets, which I can simply throw onto my, the check status page. Just like that, we'll notice as we log in as a Joe employee user, that user will immediately see the new sections we've added. And when they go to check status, they'll also dynamically see the assets assigned to them. So really quick and easy to edit these home pages. Now, with, when it comes to the higher level conversation, not end users, but technicians, you know, admin pieces in the platform, items like these out of box overview dashboards, that you can see by searching for overview. You may have noticed that, you know, there's a specific item that you would like to add. Maybe it's something like a calendar, like this change calendar here. So keep in mind that any report we create, we simply make that report in our point and click report builder. This could be a report of type calendar, if you want a calendar of your data, or maybe it's a report of type list, and it's a list or queue of information that can also be done and then we simply go ahead and as we noted we're gonna go and turn this into a gauge which will be available here if you haven't already that report that you turn into a gauge will then immediately be available to add to one of these home pages and again it's via a simple plus navigating over them to their gauge and the table of data that that is on so for change here I'm interested in my change table. So I select change request and from there I'll be able to pick exactly what it is, you know, what that report is that I've created that I want to add on the home page. Now coming into the platform to a home page, we noted how A, it's auto-defined on if you're an end user, ITIL user, admin. B, you know, if you are an ITIL or admin user, you can switch page here. But there's another thing we can do, and that's to create our very own home pages. So let's pretend I'm an asset manager here in the business. Well, I can simply come ahead and I can create myself a new page. And just like that, I have my own home page. And this could be my asset management home page. Now, from this home page, I can again very easily point and click to add whatever content I'd like to. For an asset management homepage, 
you know, again, I'll pick the reports of that relevant table. And this includes custom tables. So if you want to make custom home pages for your custom tables, you can absolutely do that. And we'll talk about making more globalized home pages as well. So this is a personalized one. So here I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select for asset, you know, let's say computer or configuration item. And I'm going to start throwing all these different asset numbers and asset reports simply onto a home page. But maybe I don't like this layout. You know, I want something with a different look and feel. Well, something we can easily do is we can actually click on the switch to page in the lower right. And under new page, you'll see change layout. And this is actually going to let me change the layout of this asset management homepage. So maybe I want three columns of equal size only. I press change and just like that, you'll notice my report on my homepage here, it's dynamically a three column homepage. So really easy to change the layout of that content. Now there's another way that we can actually interface with getting to these home pages, and that's via modules we create. So let's pretend as that asset manager I actually want to get to that via a module. I can simply right click that asset configuration application and select edit application menu, which will let me create a new module, which is these areas with stars to the left under the application. So I'm going to press new here and I'm going to make myself a module that I'll call my asset management, you know, overview, or we could just call it overview. So it's in line with our other out of box applications. We'll make sure it's all the way at the end. Let's give it a high order number so it appears down at the bottom of this list of modules. And let's make sure the role, although it's on the configuration, so the role's on the application, it'll go down to the modules, but we could specify any extra ones. And we simply pick the link type to be a home page. Now, which home page is this going to be? Keep in mind that that personalized one so far is just for me, but I can create a new one. Here we can enter the title for the new home page we define. Make sure you enter some form of view name to utilize as well, or the page won't properly load. Here we could pick if a specific user has access to this, and then what user role wise can write or change the home page, and then read the content to see that home page. But we're just going to use one of these out of box examples. Like perhaps our enterprise CMDB home page. And as upon I press update, when we click overview, we'll notice that it takes us to that new home page. We can add and make changes the same way we had previously, but now it includes this brand new home page as part of our functionality set. So keep in mind there's a number of out of box home pages, sysadmin for the admin, the ITIL home page for ITIL users, and self service for end users. Additionally, there's out-of-box areas for items like knowledge management or top searches, but you can very well create your own home pages to be used in the business. Keep in mind that you can place whatever reports you turn into gauges on these home pages, including calendars and any number of queues, which are reports of type list. On check status, we can add whatever content we'd like, any other different set of queues or information based off of the simple configurations.